Get your copy of my Amazon number one bestseller in science and religion, The Magic Man in the Sky, Effectively Defending the Christian Faith. Considering the world in which we now live, you need this book. Get your copy today, Amazon.com or the WND Superstore. The Commander-in-Chief is back. Freedom Friday with Carl Gallops, the Oval Office of Gulf Coast Talk Radio. All right. Welcome back. Thank you for hanging on uh, through the break. Well, folks, here we are, one day after Mohamed Morsi takes uh, power in, well, now he's the president-elect of Egypt. One day later, Yahoo News is reporting in a headline news article from the AFP, Egypt's Morsi to, quote, rethink its pact with Israel and build ties with Iran. So Egypt's Islamist president-elect, Mohamed Morsi from the Muslim Brotherhood wants to reconsider the peace deal with Israel and now build stronger ties with Iran. And, and this is what he says. He says to, quote, create a strategic balance in the Middle East. And this information was published by Iran's news agency today on Monday. These uh, goals of Morsi's are certain to alarm Israel and should be alarming everyone in the United States as they adapt this new direction with Morsi running the country. But you see, folks, over a year ago, I told you on my radio program that all of this was going to happen. I had some people call me up and call me ugly names, said I was an alarmist. I had no idea what I was talking about. I was just a Bible thumper. Well, look, it's not that I claim to be a prophet. The prophets have already spoken. The word of God has already spoken on this issue. Go read Isaiah 19. Read the first five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten verses and tell me that this is not happening before our very eyes. Isaiah 19 is a last day prophecy of Egypt falling and coming under the hands of a despotic, wicked ruler. The Muslim Brotherhood, I've told you this before, was begun in 1928. All kinds of nefarious background, all kinds of nefarious reasons, but the main reason it was begun was to make sure that Judaism and Christianity was wiped from the Middle East, to make sure that there was never a nation of Israel, and if there was, that the nation of Israel would be eventually destroyed. Now, under the leadership of Barack Hussein Obama and the administration of the United States government, Arab Spring erupted in Egypt. Mubarak was overthrown. 30 years of a peace accord with Israel is now out the window. The Muslim Brotherhood is firmly in control. Christians will be fleeing for their lives. Jews in Egypt will be fleeing for their lives. Egypt is now going to align itself with Iran, who is aligned with Russia, who all three desire for Israel to be destroyed. Folks, this is prophecy unfolding before our eyes. We truly are living in biblical, prophetic, and last day times. I told you over a year ago that all of this was going to happen. I was on the air the day that it was announced that the United States of America under Barack Hussein Obama was directly involved in the overthrow of the current Egyptian government. I told you then what was going to happen, and now we are there, and it is happening. Folks, keep your eyes on Jesus. It won't be long. We'll be right back after this time out.